Good morning, folks. It's 8 o'clock, Tuesday, February 16th. I got this new uh, Lenovo tablet. I uh, just turned these phones on. They're going to make a noise, if you know, a little bit of noise. Um, excuse me. And, uh, man, I love it. It's like the Wii 2 or something. Excuse me. Um, I wanted to just uh, have a little time this morning. Literally. I haven't been up long at all. Got Herky squared away. Um, but we have to eat here in just a little bit. But I just want to have a moment to... Uh, talk, you know, calm, relaxed talk. This is like a, a summary of what's going on. I woke up this morning and, uh, you know, <laughs> some of you already know, but uh, I woke up annoyed I was still here. And then I look at what's holding me back, what's going on to get me out of here, how things look for this, how things look for that. I can only see so much. Um, because things are actually being done to make this happen. It's not a thought process in anyone's head over there. And if it doesn't exist yet, sorry, you know, you can't see that yet. It's so like on the other side, when I get so pissed off, make up my mind I'm leaving one way or the other fast, then all of a sudden things would happen. But right now, it's a, that's not a possibility. I need to uh, finish doing things with the house. Things are being set up to get me out of here. Uh, basically, I've done my work. Everything else that needs to happen, I can take care of so much better out of body. So anyway... Not trying to make this about that, because it's not. But when I woke up this morning, that was the first thing I was feeling, and then I was looking into what's going on, what's being done to get me out of here. I've got two parts of Lily uh, that are with me right now. One I call Rosie, really cool, really sweet, and then the other is my beautiful lady. Um, uh, it's White Tiger Lily. Um, and she has very strong, you know, unicorn and dragon energy, but she's... The part that's dealing with me is strong dragon energy. It's uh, She's very beautiful, very powerful. Um, and they're working together to get me home. Um, uh, the love between my lady and I is very strong, but uh, the human body messes everything up. And the, the spirit from the human body um, has been put through hell, so it really puts a damper on the actual love that exists between what the two parts, the two people really are. I'm talking about everybody right now. I'm not, this isn't about me and uh, my other part. That's just part of the life experience. So anyway, after I looked at that, I felt that, and I realized things are going as good as they can, as best as possible. They're moving forward as quick as they can without there being other issues caused by that fast movement. And I'm just doing the best I can to deal with this. And those of you that are anxious for me to go, I understand. Uh, I am too. 99% um, of you aren't malicious about it. It's just you understand what, you know, what my job is. You know what I am and I got to go. Um, now, that, that being dropped and left out, that was the first thing I go through every morning, basically, almost 99.9%. But then, the next thing I do, which is really important, and this is what I want to talk about, is I reach out and I feel everywhere. I can't, if I'm a custodian for a huge, huge place, like a, a, a vehicle manufacturing plant, well, I'm stuck in this body, I can't clean it all myself. Uh, or just say I'm the custodian for a large school and I've got my hands, you know, chained together, and, uh, my feet chained together and I can't get released to do work. Um, 
I'm still going to be looking. It's my job to know what's dirty and clean, what needs to be fixed. So I always look out and I just look at what's going on. That's what I want to talk about. Um, let's take a moment, okay, and let's look at the... Um, if you have any uh, uh, coffee, tea, or whatever to drink, uh, please go get it. And uh, Let's just look at things, okay? Um, oh, by the way, um, as, as spirit, when we're out of body, we don't have all that, uh, the same jealous uh, things going on. Like all of Lily and all of Ara, we love each other. It's when the, the planetary spirit, Gaia's spirit that's been abused, having all these bad lives, gets attached to it. That's where the problems come from. Uh, remember, uh, negativity itself actually comes from physical matter, which is, by the way, not part of Gaia. It's part of the body Gaia has, just like us, okay? Don't anyone try to insinuate I'm saying anything negative about Gaia. She knows better. That's the most important thing. But number two, uh, that's a statement I'm going to make strong statement so anyway uh, <clears throat> so I was just kind of reaching out I mean you know the energy part the field is is like part of me and it's not like it's part of me whatever I'm trying not to say something about me um, people think oh you know he wants to be this and that oh he thinks he's this and that no I am what I am and there's consequences for all of that People think my last life as Gandhi was such such a wonderful blessing, and he just wants to be so powerful. You have no idea what the crap I went through, man. It was a life of hell. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm feeling out everywhere, and I'm just looking. I'm just feeling everything going on. I look at the feelings, and the ones that are the strongest and that have frustration and stuff in it, I go to them first. Okay? Um we have prisoners still here on this planet. They're being shuffled around. They're excited because they're saying this is the beginning of the end. Um, yes, it is, but it's it's just the soft beginning and it's not there yet and there's still, you know, headaches involved. Um, number two, uh, I'm looking at the planet and just seeing how dirty it is how guys bodies being beat up it's disgusting uh, things being done to it uh, under the ground plus on top of the ground look at the uh, all the fracking going on all the destruction of uh, this planet by Montos actually poisoning and destroying the planet and they they can find a hundred million dollars they just laugh because they just made uh, 127 billion off of what they were doing Government knows that. Will they stop them? No, I don't know. Everyone's worried about cell phones getting near their head and stuff. It's not the issue you think it is. But while you're worrying about the little stuff, that air you're breathing now, it's poison. And that poison is getting stronger and stronger every day. Our, our governments are doing that. Why? Why are they doing that? Well, they want to screw with us, okay? They want to literally put your health down. Hey, pharmaceuticals, doctors, all that stuff goes up. Reptilian. Yay, reptilian. Yay. Um... Uh, it's the reptilian issues here, okay? It's not a thing about reptilians themselves, but it's the ones that are in control here. It's these assholes, okay? So that's making your health go down. Plus, a big reason why they do that, folks, is it makes it harder for anything to beam from a planet down, I mean, from off planet down here onto the planet. It screws them up when they go beaming and out. I've told you how they do that a thousand times. Well, whatever, a lot of times. Uh, sure, not a thousand. Um... So we're destroying our ecosystem. We're creating a greenhouse effect. We're doing it to keep uh, the others out. It, it's wartime. And people are getting freaked out. It's like things are getting ready to break out. Um, the fact that we have beings from other planets with us. That's a big thing in um, many people's, excuse me, many people's heads. Um, why are they here? What do they want? They're going to enslave us. They're going to stick needles in us and drills. Oh, yeah, hello. There's already some doing that, and this uh, Central Intelligence uh, Agency for the Federation out in space, uh, I call them the CII, Central Intelligence Idiots, 
Uh, they're the ones that are responsible for controlling that. Okay. Uh, the ones you call the blue avians, uh, that's the antids. They're cool as hell. They would never have anything to do with that. There's only so much they can do alone. But there is this new federation being put together out in space. They have a new federation being born right now. Good, it's about time. We're taking out the trash, folks, in all the corners. There are good members in the Anunnaki uh, regime that's here on this planet that don't want it like this. They're tired of seeing these uh, prisoners being born and dying in captivity. There's a lot of good people down here that are part of what's going on on this planet, and they're literally part of the Civil War. Sooner or later, they, they, they don't fold. They stand up for themselves and how they really feel because they're not for this whatsoever. There's only a certain amount of the uh, assholes here on this planet, the Anunnaki um, regime running this planet, a uh, little, about three-fifths of them are assholes. But and I, I'm talking about ruling class, the ones at the top, the, just the major players, very major players. Uh, so anyway, so we have that going on. We had a resistance uh, gathering up forces over here, doing pretty good. Uh, as I'm saying that, this this one folks, uh, um, Paul and I talked to, they're like, you know, don't look at us, don't look at us. <laughs> um, the uh, there's a new group coming in. Oh, that's cool. They look neat. Anyway, uh, talk about it some other time. Uh, so anyway, there's that going on. Um, then I look at the government intelligence uh, that's here on this planet. I like to pick on them, but they're trying to find a way. Find a way. They understand our place and everything. This one group, not the whole military, but this one group, they understand our place and everything. They want to become part of the whole. They don't, they're not looking for world domination. These are good people. You think the whole military is crazy? Hell no. I know some good soldiers. How about you? Remember, people are people. It's what's inside that matters. Not if it's source. You know, this or these, some of these source people going around, I'm source. I'll take a nice soul any day. No. <laughs> Uh, that's why I'm so close with so many of you. It's what's inside, folks, what you are and how you deal with what you are. When someone's 87% negative and they don't ever go after anyone and they do something to help, that's awesome. That's awesome. They just want to be left alone. They don't want to be happy. They're happy just being placid. It's not aggressive negative. It's just placid. Relaxed and don't want to get happy, excited. There's nothing wrong with that, and it's not their fault. So, we have that going around animals. Um, the animals were supposed to be already leaving hard by now, just between you and me uh, and everyone else listening. Um, this month, next month, is when the animals, the gorillas, were supposed to start leaving. And because what was done, keeping me here, that literally pushes everything around. I'm being asked not to say that, that they're working on something. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about what anyone else says, including the other side. I don't care if it's another part of my energy, Lily. I don't give a shit. It is what it is. Someone has to stand up and say, this is how it is. Like the NSA, y'all are just a bunch of nasty pieces of crap, man. Y'all suck. You're such a big, bad agency. Bring your little bitch ass, huh? Bring it. I can do whatever I want. Nothing's going to bother me. I'm no better than nothing else. And those of you that actually know me, you understand the depth of that meaning. I do what I can for everything. It's not me that matters. It's everything else. Uh, I'm 
look at a bunch of stuff, sorry. All kinds of stuff going on. So anyway, um, that's a lot of uh, what I was seeing. But then I was looking at people, also looking at people trying to wake up. Old, um, trying to understand what's going on around them and being kept busy. Just They go to the internet and they pick these little pieces somewhere and everything. And I, I keep saying, folks, the answer is inside you. It's already there because it's who you really are. Um, okay, some people have a thought process. Um, he doesn't know how to really wake people up, so he says that. There's some guy, there's one guy right here, and there's more than one. Um, he doesn't really have uh, the right knowledge, the right data to explain. You go, um, and you go, cling, 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 and you go, la, and then you're woken. Yeah, you know, people like that. Folks, if you ever listen to someone like that, I have one word for you, Why? Why? Why listen to someone like that? Like James Randi running around. None of this stuff exists. Yet he used his gut intuition to figure out what's going on with all these fake, you know, masterful psychics. Um, a lot of people are very strong metaphysically and they've proven themselves to him and he's just, he won't accept it. His million dollar challenge or whatever it is, it literally states that he has to be satisfied. <laughs> So if he can't be satisfied, you can telekinetically move something across the room. He'll never pay you. He, he's got a legal out. <laughs> he's such a joke. But yet he used his uh, gut intuition to figure out how to get rid of the, uh, you know, the liar. So, whatever. People spend so much time on the internet looking for the hoopla and excitement. Oh my gosh, she's a real being. You know, no, it... Um, 99% of everything is Photoshop. But there's a lot of cool stuff going on with pictures of ships coming into the atmosphere. Okay? A lot of good stuff. I look at it. How do I tell it's real? The first thing I do is I look at it and I feel what's inside it. I feel the energy inside. Energy is truth. The truth of being able to see frequencies, that's what keeps me anchored. That's what keeps me grounded. As long as my head's not getting pounded, I got no problem with that. I just see it. It is. I feel it. I know it. I understand it. I remember it. Um, everyone's anxious for that. And like, like I keep saying, wait till you meet the Fae and they start making physical bodies out of nothingness. You know, and just shake your hand. Nice to meet you. See you later. Poof. There's no poof or pop. They just, they're gone. And you're like, what? <laughs> um, there's a lot of exciting things coming but there's a lot of chaos a lot of turmoil things are turning around all over the place and the girls on the other side the ladies uh, uh, parts of Lily they're working their butt off to make stuff happen and they are part of the whole of what mother is creation's new mother um I just keep seeing the pollution. I'm trying to go back and remember what I was seeing, everything I was seeing this morning when I woke up. Um, I was looking at, you know, Herky's old, folks. He's tired, okay? He was supposed to be home a while ago. I'm taking him down to the boutique here soon. Um, maybe today, maybe not. I'm working uh, on finding, uh, settling down to the... Uh, uh, a new group of lawyers let me just say that for taking care of the last thing that I need to take care of here while in body and in the meantime I'm setting everything up to build a uh, this business which it is now um, for Paul just to take it over when I go so he can be dealing with that um, but like I said I'm looking at getting it's kind of up in the air about getting a pallet, 250 pounds of uh, some really good stick selenite. These two stones here, see this is really high quality selenite. I don't know if this is a grade double A, triple A, but it's very high. Um, this, very good lapis lazuli from Afghanistan. You put these two together, for those of you that are pineal, 
your opinion you'll start you'll feel it so there you go you start feeling it literally building up power when you do that while you're trying to use it you learn how to use it better wow <laughs> what can i said i'm not picking on anyone i'm having fun being a clown give me this moment of happy would you you know i love you all man it's just sometimes i'm really tired of being a screaming meanie I don't stop, I don't quit. See, that's the issue. I understand a lot. So anyway, you take that, then you put some Celestite with it. Okay? And that literally... The, the Celestite hits the hypothalamus, which is like a control point for everything else, all the other abilities, most all the other abilities. Um, and then the Selenite goes through the core in the crown, hard uh, the pineal the, the lapis is the pineal then you get a piece of uh, yellow aventry I got so much junk over here I need to get someone over here to help me set it up um, here we go it's right underneath the celestite imagine that That's yellow adventuring. It's really nice stuff. Okay, high quality. I get it from uh, India and Asia. And then you can throw in something soft and flowing for heart, like red adventuring, which is kind of hard to find. Which reminds me, I need to get some. Um, and then uh, also you can get some ruby for heart strength right there um, also uh, um, I keep on want to give it a different name because I'm used to calling it something else uh, uh, garnet some good purple red garnet is strength too uh, rhodochrosite is good but that's solidifying the heart energy to make it strong when you're hurting okay uh, rhodonite rhodochrosite is like that but it flows a little more but we're talking about moving the energy through this system Okay. So you all know I, what I do is I just build what you need, and then you put stars and I did, and it just cranks the hell out of everything. So I'm gonna sell the stones individually. It'll be cheaper. But then, folks, when I take this and I put it together in a sphere, and you know all these everything coming from me is cranked up, and I change the frequencies in there a little bit. I keep it what it is, but I add extra to it there's a lot more in there when the lapis you get from me has a lot more in it than just lapis not only does it have full source energy in there it's i crank up certain frequencies that are made for what needs to be in there for you now um when you put your hands over it remember your energy is flowing everywhere everyone's huge your energies overlap all over the place okay when you start putting your hands a little closer and a little closer just relaxing and then all of a sudden you start feeling a little heat in your hands keep it right there and feel the heat and then go a little closer a little closer see if the heat doesn't build up what's going on what's causing the heat okay um your energy is leaving your hands it's going right into that copper the copper is literally got all those other stones inside wrapped around it it helps spread your energy evenly throughout all those stones those stones with star resonate in the middle um Literally, that star resonate starts cranking up hard. It's like a generator. It pulls energy from outside into it, and then that goes out and back into your hands through the stones, and that goes in your hands, makes your body stronger, and then you put more energy into it. It's a literally a metaphysical power generator. That's why you feel all this heat. People say, stones have no energy. Have them hold their hands there. And unless they're a total metaphysical dud, too much negativity in them, they're going to feel it. They're going to feel it. Their hands get warm and say, that's weird. Must be the copper. And it's like, well, why would the copper do it? Why would the copper do it? You know, copper is an element. It's like stone, whatever, part of the planet. Hello. Um, all those stones have energy. Copper helps the energy flow. But it's a star resonite in it. That really makes it take off. Okay. Um, and like I said, it goes into you. And then as when it goes into you, then Gayra goes inside your body. She pulls more of you inside your body, so you have more energy coming out your hands. It builds up power. Okay, you're not going to turn on light bulbs, but you're going to turn on your brain and your body, your heart. Isn't that what you want? I hope so. 
things are going to change. I, I really want all of you to be as ready as possible when it happens. I want you to be all that you really are, as much as you can be while you're in a body. And I want all that. I want, I want, I want. Yes, I want. I want for you. Okay? It's going to happen. Nothing can stop that, period. I want you to understand it, enjoy it. Um, things are going to get a little tougher and everything, but I want you, uh, you know, it, it, they're, they're going to, they wind up great. It's time, this has to happen, and it's going to happen, and there's nothing to get in the way. Nothing. There was something, there was a lot of stuff that thought it could, and it's gone. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, uh, someone else said, uh, sent something in an email about touching the sphere. I say not to touch the sphere. Why? When you touch the sphere, unless you can actually relax and flow inside yourself, you're going to constantly, your conscious mind concentrates on touching something. When you do that, it takes your, your ability to calm down inside uh, oh, pretty much away, uh, you know, depending on who you are. You want to take your conscious mind and take those pins out and let all those gears out of mesh and let it just float above your head 10, 20 feet. So it's still there. You're still thinking, but you get rid of it. Yeah, you just set it aside. And then that leaves your head open and clear to relax, and then you feel the energy. So some people can't feel it, and then they grab it, and they still can't feel it. Well, they grab it, you know, if they can't feel it anyway and they get close, grabbing is not going to help. Um, when you actually touch something, you can feel more. It's funny, I, in the beginning, I had a couple people open up the spheres. I said, it's just stones in there. I'm like, you thought I lied? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> um. And folks, I'm not, the people that did that, I'm not beating them up at all. You know, they want to understand. I understand that. Um, if it didn't cost so much more, so much money, I would have sent them out another sphere. Um, but uh, everyone's waking up. Everyone's wanting to see what's going on. They're getting excited. But folks, to really understand and be a bigger part of what's happening you need to wake yourself up you need to awaken your abilities to become aware of who you are of what's going on around you <clears throat> and then you can actually have a reason to have faith in the future until you can see these things for yourself, there's no way to really have faith. You can have faith in someone's words or something, but you need to see it for yourself. There's so much more going on, too. Um, there's things happening, a lot of things happening out in space, but I really wanted to touch on what's going on here right now. What we have to deal with. When our friends, you know, do show their face, and everyone said, "What are they going to do? It? What's the date? You know, the date is today. They're coming today. No, you ask me what the date is. The date is today. Well, that's not what I mean. You know, uh, when are they going to come? I said, well, why don't you ask them? If you could, they would tell you. We don't know. Okay, so if they don't know, and nothing on the other side is forcing them is, and nothing on the other side is forcing them to open up by a certain date." then where's the date? There isn't one. It's like when I go looking at, I try not to, out of respect, and love and compassion, I don't get pushy with those parts of Lily that are running things in my life and working with me and changing my head along with this my own personal energy in there. Um, but I go in there a little bit with an apology, just, you know, say so I need to just see a little bit and they relax and you know, and I do, and I understand, I see. And I also allow them in my head, okay? So, and there's there's an incredible love, uh, compassion, honor between us. We are the two parts of the whole. Um, so I have faith. I will get out of here as soon as can be done. 
So it helps me relax. It frustrates me. It does a lot of stuff. But uh, people, all we can do is all we can do at that moment. And we can hope we can do more later or someone else can. But rely on yourself. Okay? And have faith that there's others that do love you and want to take care of things with you. Um, Herky's energy. Um, anyway, uh, so there's good things coming. Uh, it's going to be real neat, isn't it, when you find out there's actual other beings out there in different bodies. Um, you're hearing things about, you know, behind the scene. And Corey Good, he'll never lie to you. Never. He's, his brain can be manipulated, but he will never, ever lie to you. Never. That guy is so cool. Another one, Stephen D. Farmer. Okay? He's got different thought processes about stuff, but you talk to him about animal spirit, he understands. Big time. When you look at his core energy, it is a thick, solid gold. Oh. There's a lot of good stuff here to help us, folks. And guess what? One of them is you. This is not a campaign. This is not a commercial. This is the old man in overalls talking. One of them is you. If you think you're listening to me without a reason, you might want to consider that you might have got led here for a reason. And the reason is for you. Okay? Um, I don't have commercials or anything else like that on my site. It, it's information. A lot of it is daily stuff. Why? The more I reach out to you, the more you listen to me, and the more often all this happens, the more you start to understand what's going on, the more you can feel my words, the more you can think about the things I say, the more it seems to relate. The more you understand I'm a person, I'm a physical body with something inside that's different, it's the strongest thing anywhere, and we'll be fracking dukes. So what? I'm a person just like you. I'm part of the family. I'm just the janitor, but I got a hell of a big hammer. Okay, this is my job. That's all. I'm special ops, but I'm not special. I'm just someone else that sits at the table, and I sit in the middle of it so I can see everybody and talk with everybody and help everybody and reach everybody, not at the end, like I'm something special, because I'm not. When people get that lost, there's not a lot of people saying that. I'm just pissed because uh, it's a disgusting thing to me. It's anti what I am. None of us are any better. Folks, I've been waiting, what I really am inside, I've been waiting since the first life Lily and I had for this moment to change the format of creation. And that's exactly what's going to happen. And those of you that are listening to me, uh, I want to ask you to take the time, see how you feel about what I say, see how you feel about my energy, and then take a look at yourself. Go get, get, get in front of a mirror, look at yourself, and just ask you something. Ask yourself something. Who am I? Why am I really here? And what is it that I really want? What does my heart feel is the right thing to do or how is the right way for my heart to feel? That's a big step. I keep saying, and I mean it every damn time, I love y'all. You have no idea who you are. You know, well, that's insulting. It, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you have no idea the extent of who you really are. All you know is this physical body thing. You have no idea how huge and awesome you are. 
Energy is, is beautiful. And what you feel when your spirit, body couldn't handle that kind of feeling. No way in hell. No way in hell. When your spirit, your true self, love, it vibrates through every single one of your, um, through your throughout your whole energy body. It's so intense. It's so beautiful. It's crazy. Um, I could take that farther, but I won't. Um, I just want to help all of you right now become yourself and do whatever little I can for you before I go. Um, another thing in the morning when I wake up and I said, really, um, I shouldn't still be here. Uh, it's what happened. We're all dealing with it. Uh, when I say we, we're all, um, myself and those really close to me involved in this stuff. Folks, there's a whole bunch of people about to wake up strong. There's a whole lot of you out there, especially the ones I've gotten into and cranked up. <laughs> you have no idea what's going to happen to you when I get out of here. You have no idea. Uh, don't go thinking you're going to be telekinetic throwing cars around. You're not. Okay? But your abilities are going to go through the roof. You're going to be able to see what's on the other side, know what's on the other side. I'm literally going to go in and unlock your bodies so that you can use your abilities. There's a way to do that. The original male and female never wanted that. They didn't want anyone to see. They made the bodies the other way. Well, that can be fixed. If something's strong enough to create and dis to create and collapse a universe out of heavy particulate matter and energy in five seconds, do you think something like that can't be handled? Yes, it can. These bodies are not made to move stuff around telekinetically without your DNA being grossly changed and everything else. Is it possible? Oh, hell yes. Are you going to be seeing it right away? No. Um, that thought was put in everyone's head to entice you. It's sad, but and then there was uh, angels running around actually moving stuff and doing stuff with their energy making you think you had the ability but then when you didn't follow mother father god what happened you lost it it's like wow it was always them uh, the old thing about the wedding in uh, cana of mary magdalene, magdalene and uh, jc uh, the water of the wine that was uh, jc's primary uh, um, archangel that did that not him he was human essence wasn't even source um, no one's any better than anyone else and it's sad when they really feel they are and that's why I say praise is so stupid because you're telling something that's better than you when it's not and that creates arrogance in something it's a self-perpetuating abuse system anyway um, I'm going to make some changes to the website and stuff soon. Like I said, folks, I'm doing everything I can. I have to initiate. Uh, I'm still dealing with the bankruptcy 13. Um, I have to initiate, that, and that's set up to take a couple of months, but I have to initiate something else, uh, this other thing, with uh, taking back what belongs to me. And that's this house. I need to have the deed in my hand. But then before I die, I'm just going to put everything in Paul's name. And uh, there's some folks, there's really good stuff coming, but you know what? The biggest part of this really good stuff coming is you all becoming awake and you all becoming stronger. Can you understand that? How important that is for everyone to be awake and aware that wants to be and the others just let them stay there. Um, those that don't be want to be aware of stuff around them, uh, very few of them will be having lives, and they won't be very frequent. So that's not get, going to get in the way of people enhancing and growing their own uh, spirit while they're in a body. But it's going to be natural, not abusive, and it's like life on steroids. No thanks. And we're going to beat you up to make you matter, because that's how you grow. Yeah, no thanks. Um... Heck, that's it. I gotta run. 
take care of herpes. Um, anyway, folks, uh, try to understand that the biggest thing about what's happening, it might seem like it's out in space or on the other side where there's angels giving us love and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's not even real. At least space is, but the biggest thing that's happening, folks, is you. You're awakening your abilities to become self-aware. Okay? You awaken your abilities to become aware of yourself and everything else around you. Awakening once begun equals growth of awareness. Folks, I love you, man. Uh, please take the time to relax, go inside yourself, and find out that I'm not full of crap, that you're as cool as I say you are. I know, I see you. I know all of you. Kind of, sometimes you'll get a little, uh, it's, it's the neatest thing in the world, but you kind of almost get like semi amazed, it's like, you know, when you talk, and it's like, how does he know that stuff? You know, um, I know all of you, man. I know all of you. All I want to do is help. Anyway, look folks, I love you man, have a good one. Please take the time to relax and flow inside yourself, inside the quiet of your own mind and body. That's where the real you exists. That's the mountain that you have to climb to become yourself. The only thing is, you're not going uphill. You might think so because it's hard to do because of all the anxiety and everything in life. But it's actually a downhill thing just flowing down inside yourself. It's like an inverted mountain where you just relax, hold on to the sides, and softly slide into yourself. And then when it's time to go back up to the top, you float like energy flying. It's really cool. Um, folks, I love you, man. Take care. Thanks for having coffee with me. See you soon.